Hello again, welcome back to another daily buying of Isaac Repentance. So that daily just sucked. And so did that me keep losing here. It typically happens, you know. I get too cocky and stuff. See, there's V-E-8-F-B-M-H-K. And we got the other kind of bean. We had the, the type of bean that gave me... What I call, like a gift with breaking stuff and now they're giving me one that's just crappy cool tears rate's pretty good damage is pretty good shot speed could be a better but we're doing okay for beginning stats All right, I already found the boss. I guess we go fight the boss now. And it's champion Ragman, all right. Okay. Hopefully we get a nice like damage up or something out of this. Real nice. Just farting on my enemies. Just push them away. Okay. Gotta be careful with spiders, man. Because they... They got this old spider energy. Alright. You're just gonna keep spawning stuff, huh? That's cute. Yeah, fart on you. Seriously. I'm getting pissed. <laughs> okay. There we go. Sorry, I was getting a little ornery there box huh wow that's cool a box of junk these are my little knickknacks i got for you i i found it around my place i guess we'll just take this chewed pen all right whatever we're almost dead but that's okay that's okay we got chewed pen We don't need any more damage. I'll be careful what you wish for. Oh yeah, I've got that thing, don't I? I forgot, I have that. Okay. Well, bless you, child. Anyways, I was talking in the last video a bit about, uh... Uh, Return to Oz. I ain't seen that in ages. But then it's just like... It was really like just weird looking. I, I Now I think about it, I don't think Disney owns it. I had to think there for a second. I don't think so. Because like, you know, Disney owns like a lot of stuff. But like, I don't think they own the rights to that film. I don't think so. I think it's Viacom or something. It's either like, you know, Viacom or Disney, you know, like the two big ones. That own like some, you know, broadcasting company or whatever. That's it. Like, you're, you're gonna have an extremely little luck of like, or yeah, the extreme luck to find one that's like not owned by any of them. Or some third party establishment that's tied to the original corporation. <laughs> In some obscure way. It's probably going to come a day where Disney will buy DC. Mark my words. They've got to Marvel. Oh, boy. They're probably going to get to DC. Maybe. I say maybe. I mean, a lot of us didn't expect about 
Microsoft buying Bethesda, Bethesda, uh, Bethesda, yeah, Bethesda Studios. I'm gonna take this. Or, uh, or even the uh, recent uh, purchasing thing of uh, Activision. Which I guess there's a they're actually a little bit more predictable recently in the last year or two because of the stuff that's going on and everything. Um, for those two companies. And uh, but when I throw around DC, then it's like, you know, there isn't much of an indication of it, you know, being similar to those companies to where it's like, oh yeah, that'd be totally be bought out. I'm speculating here, so don't, don't go, don't go ham on me yet. I'm just speculating that someday it's going to get bought. And then there will be a hell of a cross universe of everything. Now, I think if Disney were to got uh, DC, there won't be any more rated R, you know, whatever films from the DC stuff, you know. No more Joker movies, no more Batman movies, you know, violent Batman stuff or whatever. They'd be cutting a bunch of stuff out from the original ones. Just a bunch of stuff. And you know, that's just it. It's just like... And whatever, I guess, because like... I think at this point with superhero movies and, you know, video game based movies and stuff, it's just like, I kind of given up of, uh, of, uh, being like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm, I, I can't believe they did this to me and all that. I'm going to keep watching. I mean, I did that with Halo, I guess, the Halo show, but that's like, because like, I already knew the franchise is dead. And so... Or on Lifeline, more, more like, and about to have it unplugged. <laughs> it's it's still, like, beating, but it's still, like, not... It, it's just ready to die. And yeah, I could be an old man and be like, All oh, the olden days with Power Rangers and stuff. Okay, I think maybe no that no that wouldn't be there. Darn it, I wasn't thinking. So oh my goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Alright. So how's this run? I don't know. But they actually, you know what? They made a couple of Wizard of Oz movies, didn't they? Recently? I think they did. I never bothered seeing it, because it's like they probably trashed the, the hell out of it, so I, I just didn't do it. Didn't watch it. It's like when they made another Blockbuster. Oh, uh, not Blockbuster. Uh, Ghostbusters! And I, I would just refuse to see it, like, at all. <laughs> Ghostbusters 3. It's so bad, like, they made a Ghostbusters Afterlife, and it, uh... They never reference any, anything of Ghostbusters 3. <laughs> Which, good on them. I heard Ghostbusters Afterlife wasn't too bad. Hey, Papa Fly. Hey, Papa. Really? One enemy. Okay. I seen something somewhere about like, oh, there's another, uh, what is it? <laughs> Doctor Strange movie. Ah, uh, was this like their third one, fourth one? What is this? I was like, oh. So what? So from what I can gather from just very limited, just knowledge of them, 
He's some kind of like time wizard guy that can open up the different dimensions and he can twist things around and whatever else. Another like alternative dimension stuff. That's my understanding of what he does. He's like some kind of like space wizard thing. He's doing something to save the world. Hey, got tears up. Not a damage up, a tears up. We got extra HP too from that, so that's good. Um. Oh my goodness gracious! Is it gonna be one of those runs that I curse myself with? It's like I'm not gonna get any damage. Be careful what you wish for. Here I am in caves too. But no, I was uh, talking about last video. About Return to Oz. Like, I don't have too many problems with it. If I go back and watch it, I'm, I'm going to probably pick up a lot more things. Because I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. Um... Like, the whole setting in the beginning, stuff like that was weird, too. Because, like, um, what's his, what's her name? Uh, Dorothy. She was in this, uh... Oh, she went to the hospital about something. And then to strap her in and everything. It might have been a ward or something. Some psych ward stuff. I think. Or they're just going to strap her in and then just kind of, like, leave her there. You gotta give me something better than this. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. That looks nice. Now let's afford it. <laughs> and then somehow she ends up back to Oz. Like, I forgot how she got back to Oz. Like, she was going down some... hill during a, this big rainstorm or something. I think she... No, she got into a boat, didn't she? Like some kind of a boat thing? Not a boat, but like a... Uh, oh, it might have been a boat. Either a boat or it was a, uh, a raft. And she got on there and then she floated away and somehow got to Oz, I think. Didn't she? It's been a while. And Oz looks totally different. I don't think she even had Toto either. Did she? I don't think so. Oh, you little jerks. You little monsters. Jesus. I forgot who was trying to put it away. Annie Ann or whatever. The, uh, whoever was watching her or was it the parents or something like either way that's pretty screwed up like you know she was caring for them and stuff like that in the first movie and whatever and then found out they survived from the tornado and then all of a sudden it's like she's taken to the hospital for something and then I think they de deliberately like kept her or something like that like some really sadistic stuff Unless maybe they were thinking like she was hallucinating about some things. They wanted to take her in. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I never read the books. I never read the scripts. I, didn't, I hadn't seen the movie in a while. It's like something going on. Oh, you just don't want to kill everything here, huh? That's cold. All right, I need to like get, get these guys. I'll say this is kind of a miserable run. A great sack, though. We can get a great sack and a good boss room item. Jesus. I'm gonna do that just to get that, yeah. 
extra hit points. That's what's kind of keeping us live here is that uh, scapular. Of course, uh, it's also it also helped too to get the uh, whatever the. Uh, One thing. I'm <laughs> blanking on the name. Ooh, golden bomb. All right. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Hey. I'm ready to generate money now if I can get enough money. Hope I get like a magic mush or something. Good lord. So, yeah, anyways, going back with like the whole Wizard of Oz thing, it's like. It was TikTok. Hi, ah, TikTok. I ain't seen you forever, TikTok. It's like, what the hell is she on? I don't remember TikTok. This like mechanical robot thing. It ran on like kinetic energy with like twisting a uh, a thing around to like wind it. Powered by winding power. That's pretty innovative stuff in the 60s, I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, man. Let's try here. And there's also the super secret room I could find. Oh, tick tock, tick tock. Okay. We could probably go a little hard here. I have to do this. <laughs> Rep my donation machine. Unless we get a quarter here, then that'd be like, oh man. All right. Interesting. Probably something I would take, but I think this ink thing is going to give me a slightly better advantage. My opinion. Now, we're on death's doorstep, thanks to me, like, clowning around here with my HP. But now it's just like... I mean, I assume there must be, like, some kind of a book or something somewhere talking about the events after that. Because it's based off of a book, right? So, the first movie. Wow, I'll be damned. Give me that. Now, I gotta be very careful in here. Are you fucking... Alright. Alright. Thank you. God bless you. Golden Bombs is going to help us a lot. Oh, no. All right, we're going to be dead. Now, I could have just stopped being cute. Stop with these track and troll bombs, my dude. Okay. We persevered. We showed that bully who's boss. So, anyways, going back with that old thing, it's like... I don't know if, like... I mean, I assume they would have probably made a third movie or something like that, the way they were setting things up with that uh, ending of that movie. But that was like freaking decades ago. It's funny how I find this thing. I had a weird feeling there would be a room like that. That's fine. We got the money here. Regardless. Yoink.
Come on. All right. Bye. I'm gonna need that, sir. Papers, please, sir. All right. That would have been nice to get a soul heart, but I got damage finally. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they couldn't give me a break. All right. So we're we got a pretty good tears rate. We got pretty good damage. I'm gonna just use my tears here so I can gain some more money for the shop. Just so I get another soul heart to protect my deal or the devil or angel or whatever. Oh, well, speak of the devil. And he shall appear. Don't mind if I do. All right. We got more damage. We got some wacky tear effects. Like, we was not setting pretty earlier. We're like 20 minutes in. All right, I, I have to go back and get a soul heart. I, I have to preserve this. As much as I want to, like, save this money for something else. Speed up, whatever. That's good. I mean, like this, 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 uh, the tone of this movie too, it was very dark, much darker than the first one, which I kind of liked. Cause it's like, oh yeah, Dorothy, da da da. And like the friends are like frozen in time and everything. We're going to pop this. Uh, Moon's Trance, that's okay. You can probably pop this. Yeah. I mean, this is an okay item, not the greatest. I popped it because I didn't want to just like, you know, lose that precious opportunity there. To just get something immediately so it can help me for this floor. I mean, Moon Trance is okay. Gives me an aura of damage the closer they are. It's, that's okay, it's okay. It beats the uh, Breath of the Wind item. But no, it had like a darker theme. Like the characters were like frozen. And uh, I guess by some witch or something like that. Some kind of a spell or something. I don't know. And she had to go in and like fix them up or something to get, it, get them uh, unfrozen. It's pretty metal, I guess. We got in here. Oh, baby. Okay. Do we do this? Okay. Why not? I hope I don't regret it. Okay, well, our damage went down. Our speed's sucky. Tears is not bad, okay. But we do have that, so we can break rocks and everything. Okay, okay, okay. This is not too bad. This is not the end of the world here. Except that item sucks. Like, I don't, I don't even know what happened after she got back to earth or whatever i don't know if she's like from another dimension planet whatever but like she got back somehow and then it's like oh everything's well or something i don't know i don't know if the hospital was still looking for her or not she's probably out hiding somewhere now now the uh, the girl who played uh and we turned the odds, ah, not the same one that played uh, the other one by any means, because that was like many decades later that this movie came out. A couple decades or so. 
Maybe longer. She didn't even freak out with all those characters and stuff like that in these movies. It's like, a talking scarecrow, a talking lion, and... What's the other one? Scarecrow, lion, tin man. Like, you'd think it's like, oh, yeah. You know, there's these talking, these talking creatures that i never seen before. I don't know what their intentions are. To the dial, let's, let's just work together. <laughs> and go find the great powerful Oz. The munchkins and everything. I know, suspend disbelief, it's a children's book, yada yada. I get it. I get it. It doesn't have to be hyper specific in your ways. The Bibble. Bless the Bibble. Bless it is the Bibble. And we got the Bible because we got the uh, the Rosary. That's fine. We're getting some Devil Deal items though, off this floor, which I don't think counts as a uh, Devil Deal deal dealio. Okay. We're doing okay, though. Just okay. Far better than what it was. It could be a lot better, though, than it what than it what it is. I guess to be fair, if I didn't reroll, it'd probably be better. I'd get more stats buying stuff and whatever else. Generate more coinage. Boy, this guy is a pain in the butt, isn't he? He's got like these tears. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just an insult. Alright, down to the next floor. for the rainbow way up high I imagine the uh the series of uh Wizard of Oz films that came out last few years or so I assume they just have nothing to do with talking about the old ones or anything or have some kind of a flashback or whatever it'd be like a flashback but then it'd be like showing like the current actor from back then. A current actor of, for this whatever scene. It won't be like the original like cut from the film. Or the like digitally CGI Julia. Not Julia, but what was her name? Garland or something like that. Julie Garland? I think that's what it was. I'm trying to remember the names. Not Jillia Child, that's somebody else. Um, just CGI her in there. That'd be so weird. I mean, they did that, they did that with Star Wars. With, uh, what's her name? One where played Princess Leia. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I mean, I never hear anybody recommend it, so I assume it's garbage. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the new Wizard of Oz series of movies. Like, I've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which I think it's supposed to be a sequel. I think it's a sequel. I could have sworn someone said it was a spinoff, but then I thought it was a sequel. Because, like, Charlie was a grown man now. It wasn't a Willy Wonka, it was a Charlie. That one wasn't too bad. I mean, it was weird. But it wasn't too bad, I guess, for what they, they made out of it. And then, what, did they make another one, I think, after that? Or something? I can't remember, but like... They're probably gonna make another one, I bet, with, uh, what's her, what the kid's name is. That, uh, became the inheritor next. After, uh, Charlie. Comes out, like, another five or ten years or something from now or something. I don't know. Be like, we gotta do something, kid. Like, our factory's burning down. We gotta go to the moon. And we gotta put our thing there in the moon. Da da da. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is gonna be my favorite. I know, like, it's, it's a classic. Not only that, it's just like, you know. It's simpler. They're not like just reaching for like a bunch of different things that they're adding to it where it's like, you know, all these wacky effects and everything CGI. Back then it was just like much simpler. More work was being involved making that film, I think, than the uh, Charlie. Uh, was it Charlie? Yeah, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like, Charlie is not too bad, but like, I prefer the original. I prefer the OG. Because when you start like layering a bunch of CGI into things, see how much you can get away with it. Like, it's just like I like I remembered uh, months ago. I was at a hotel. And I talked about this before. Uh, I w I watched what so happened to be. Uh, Thor, Random Rock, or whatever. I mean, I watched like a little bit of it, but like, there was just so much crap going on at once. All the CGI, like, I just just didn't like it like at all. I felt like I had ADHD or something like that. Like, I, I couldn't even pay attention to everything that's going on. Like, there's just too much stuff going on in the film. You, know, you got these character conflicts, and you got this thing going on, and you got this other fight going on and stuff. And I'm like, okay, stop, please. I can't, I can't take it. Please, no, no more of that, please. The Bible again. I thought I told you to get out of here, boy. Alright, well, we're just gonna... Go fight Mom now. See how this goes. Oh, I thought I could fly. I forgot. I can't. They clipped my wings. So I have to earn my wings, uh... What's, what's the guy's name? From, uh... It's a Wonderful Life. They clapped my wane, so I have to earn them. Uh, God, what was the guy's name? Have they... Charles? What was it? I'm trying to remember. But anyways, he's supposed to earn his wings. In a wonderful life. So God didn't give him his wings yet. So he's got to, like... Earn them by helping what's his name out.
Well, there's even a, is there even an advantage they have wings in heaven if you if it's heaven? Just saying, like, can you just float? It's not like a subscription service is like, oh yeah, you have to do something in order to fly. I think the wings just show more prestige, maybe. It's not necessarily like the fly, but still, like. He wanted to do it. I mean, I guess. He got his wings. Spoilers. <laughs> From a. I don't know, 70 plus year old film or something like that. Spoilers. That was a good film, though. That is a good film. Not was. That's implying like I used to like it and I don't. Alright, this room's just like... Oh, I didn't even see that. I'm sorry. They had this one film called Ready Play... Uh, Ready Player One whatever and uh, like i never watched it but it basically has like a bunch of hodgepodge of like different gaming characters and everything it's all supposed to take place in some multi not multiverse but this like a metaverse thing with the vr and stuff it's virtual world like i didn't watch it but i've seen trailers of it it's like oh look they got the back of the future car hey look they got this hey they got that hey there's halo Stuff like that. Chucky and everything. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And I heard it's supposedly good. Man, I'm like not doing so well tonight here. With this, uh... Crazy gameplay. This wacky gameplay. we got in here all right we got a little something something I'm not I'm not having the patience of pushing that all the way over there but this one oh you little bastard okay Queen of Hearts whatever though maybe there could be a self-sacrifice room there is a uh, beggar back there Okay, okay. There could be something going on here. Let's go uh, check some things out first. Okay. Because if we can find a South Sacrifice room, we can get a chance to get an Angel Deals. Angel Deal items. Because we don't have a devil deal item. And we haven't taken any devil deals. I'm going to save this charge. For the, for the fight. Get away from me, you little jerk. Okay. I mean, the Devil Beggar can uh, do something here. Little Demon Beggar. Oh, and we got that too here. We got a little poop action. This, this room's just like, what the hell is going on here? Need to be using my bombs. There's like three of them in here. All right. Pop this. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to do this. I got too cocky in here. Okay. How big is this floor? <laughs> My dude. Soul heart. I guess I'll just take just in case here. Alright. This is like... This is just way too big to be like a standard floor. Like, 
Look at this. This is the freaking maze. <laughs> Like our, I mean, our damage is better than what it was in the beginning, but it hasn't improved much either. So, and it probably would have helped if I didn't re-roll my run. I know. I want to have fun. There's a self-sacrifice room. I knew there was like something here. Smelt it. Okay. Definitely go for this. We have a chance to teleport to an angel deal. We have a chance to increase our odds. Have a chance to see like what we did there a little bit. Um, have a chance to spawn an angel item. And what else? Oh, there's a chance of soul hearts. That'd be really nice. Preferably not money. My first card, that just saves me a trip. A couple trips here. All right. Get out of here. So we didn't get the angel teleportation or anything, but Two more plays and I and I can get a uh I can get a um a chance with either soul hearts or money, and I'm hoping it's money. We can also just teleport to skip Isaac and just go straight to to the Satan fight thing. Not Satan fight, but the the one room. Which I would not oppose to it. Especially since uh, after this fight on this floor, then there's like one more chance with a devil deal or an angel deal next floor. But then after that, it's like you got to fight Isaac. And then just to get to the chest, right? Now that's like... More stuff I have to fight. But if I go to the dark room, then there's four chests sitting for me there. Now, they could be just dog crap. Or, they could be really good. And I'm thinking it's dog crap, but... Alright, we got that. So that's what I wanted here. Now, we got this beggar. We got a plenty of these red hearts. As long as I don't get myself killed. Fine. So we're, we can pop this right now. We can come here. Potato peel. Now that's interesting. I'll tell you what, Bobby. That's probably a bad thing I did that, but hear me out. It's damage, and it's also a familiar that's gonna chase things down. Now we can still we can still teleport here, don't get me wrong, we can still do it. Well let's go fight the boss first and then think about what our plans are gonna be here next. Because I needed to get something that's gonna help me in the fight. Because holy cow. You know what? Now I think about it. Why can't I just pop the entire peeler? And then have Polaroid invincibility. Now that's something there. Now you're thinking about how to progress in the game. We could probably do this here. All right. And we don't need that. Okay. This is very interesting. This is mighty interesting here. 
So we got extra damage out of that potato peeler, like mad damage. And we get a, uh, probably a cube of meat out of this too. Or the pony. Get the cube of meat. All right, that's interesting here. That's mighty interesting there too. Interesting. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this with me, right? Then I'm gonna take the potato peeler with me. Because by the time we go to the next floor, I'm gonna have a red heart and then that's gonna eliminate my Polaroid invincibility stuff. So we're gonna take this with me and we're gonna have two little Cuba meat dudes. Which I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'd be enough. Because they, they, they did approve them to a point. Let's do this. Oh, that's right. I mean, they're taking that angel statue down fairly quickly. I probably didn't have to fight in here either, but... Okay. Alright. Great. I didn't have to use a whole lot there. Alright. Now, I can still use this, or... Okay. I'm gonna take this instead. So instead of popping it, let's take that. Okay. All right, so we skipped all that stuff. And quite frankly, this run was lasting longer than it should. <laughs> Maggie's faith, get that out of my face. All right, so what are we looking for here? We're looking for just something that's gonna give me more damage, more health. Man, those Cuban meats are really going at it. That's great. Like they ain't they ain't messing around. <laughs> great. Okay. I think I made a wise investment there. Range up, whatever. A lot of charge keys. This guy just scares the bejesus out of me. There. Now it's gonna hurt me. Definitely wasn't worth it, but I had to check. Now, Mega Satan, I don't know. I, I don't think I want to go pester Mega Satan right now. This room wasn't so bad. Oh, that room was nasty. Okay, well we're we're kind of heading heading a bit of a uh, bad damage part of the game right now. All right, we need to like stop getting hit if it's all possible. You got this far, kid. You can't be just throwing the run away like it's like it's something else. And it's this guy. Well, if I find a beggar, that's going to help. But that's a very slim chance. I tell you what. Anyways, I didn't really have much of a topic getting into this video, I guess. Like, I've been running out of things to say and do and whatever, yada, yada. <laughs> movies, I know. I talk a lot about movies. Movies this, movies that. Usually old school stuff. Though they do have the new uh, Maverick coming out, I think, this Friday. For Memorial Day weekend, I might go see. Because I've seen Top Gun. 
It might be good. I don't know. Okay. Got all the cute guys in here. Look at that. Just all like the Satanist freaking freaks. I got all these cute demons from hell. Getting chased down. Oh god, just get me a, a breather. Key. Like I need like I need any more keys. Alright, we gotta be careful in here too. Like it's it's gonna be bound to be getting some nasty rooms. Does not surprise me. Get me out of here, please, please. Give me some help. Don't corner me, please. All right, well. I thought the uh, Polaroid invincibility is gonna help. I mean, it did help to a point since I have empty vessel procking off and on, so that does work, but I'm not feeling safe still right now. There's something amiss. Like, there's no chests spawning. Like, hardly any of these. Why is that another room of these guys? Oh, my God. All right. Hold on your butts. Why do I need money? Like, Edmund, something's, something's going horribly wrong. All right, we made it. With one HP, all right, well. Battle, for, like it's the lost. Without a, uh, without a protective measure. I don't like how he just slows things down like that. Oh, I should have ran like that. <laughs> I should have got off the speed. Well, whatever, we made it a lamb, I guess died of the lamb like that run was just kind of miserable anyways thanks for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time